Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you the precipitation of manganese hydroxide. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation are two graduated cylinders with 100 milliliters of distilled water, manganese sulfate, sodium hydroxide, my spoon, and a dropper. Start by adding four grams of sodium hydroxide to 100 milliliters of distilled water. And stir your solution until it becomes aqueous. Now add four grams of manganese sulfate to your second graduated cylinder of 100 milliliters of distilled water and stir it until it becomes aqueous. Now I just thought part of this would look fantastic in a petri dish, so I'm going to take our aqueous solution of manganese sulfate and I'm just going to coat the bottom of this petri dish here. Okay, now we're ready to start adding drops of our sodium hydroxide aqueous solution. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that precipitate. That's manganese hydroxide that you're seeing precipitate out of the solution. Look at that. Just incredible. Okay, now we're gonna add a little more. You can see that the sodium hydroxide is mostly clear. But when we add it to a solution of manganese sulfate, look what happens. Let's see what that precipitate of manganese hydroxide would look like in a petri dish. Just one drop at a time. There it is, look at it form. It almost looks like a flower blooming. Here's another drop. That is awesome. Here's another drop. Beautiful precipitate of manganese hydroxide. And I think I like it in the Petri dish better. That is so dramatic. Just amazing. Look at that. So what's going on in this cool double displacement reaction is you start out with the reactants manganese sulfate, MnSO4, and sodium hydroxide, NaOH. And as you combine those, the metal ions trade places and you create the products manganese hydroxide, MnOH2, that was the precipitate that was insoluble in water that you saw, and sodium sulfate, Na2SO4. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramseyland, and I'll see you next time.